Hey everybody, it's Linda. Today I'm here for my weeks five and six Contrave after VSG update. If you're interested, please keep watching. So before we get started, I just wanted to say that I noticed today that I have 299 subscribers. Yay, thanks everybody. And if there's one person out there who's not subscribed yet, you can be 300, <laughs> hit that button. I'm almost there. That would be awesome. So um, since I have a bunch of new subscribers, I'll just fill you in really quickly on what my journey has been so far. So um, on May 17th, 2019, I had VSG surgery, vertical sleeve gastrectomy, bar bariatric surgery. And, um, <clears throat> sorry. So six months before that, I started the whole process and I was 217 pounds. My all-time high was 223. Uh, when I actually got the surgery, I had made it down to 201 that day. The lowest I ever hit was 167.7 and that was March 12th, 2020. So March 13th, the world blew up and... Um, there were snacks. <laughs> so I've been trying to recover from that. The highest that I've gotten during 2020 was 180.1. And then I've been trying to find ways to stop my cravings and stop my snacking. And uh, that's when I came across Contrave. I went to my bariatric center for my year and a half checkup. And they suggested a weight loss medication. So I did some research and um, if you go back to the, actually I'll put it down below the video that explains who Contrave is good for. And it's actually a combination of Wellbutrin and Naltrexone. Wellbutrin is also the generic is bupropion, just in case you hear me say that. Um, so go back to the previous video if you're interested in who Contrave is good for, and it doesn't have to be a weight loss surgery patient. Uh, I know to get it, you have to have above a 30 BMI, which I just hit, and then I lost, luckily. I've been watching a lot of videos about satiety and weight loss, and I've been having a big problem with feeling full and wanting to snack. And so um, many of them suggested upping your protein because it just stays with you a lot longer. So I've been working on that this week. Some people have said that the guideline is like your goal weight or the weight that you are. And um, if my goal weight's 155, I just don't think there's any way that I'm going to be um, consuming 150 grams of protein, especially as a VSG patient. I'm not sure that's possible. Not that I won't try, but um, I've just been aiming for 100 to start. Um, I definitely have had a lot of head hunger at night, um, just the urge to snack a lot, and I'm still fighting that. One thing that I'm doing a little bit differently, I was doing my morning dosage of Contrave, and then I was doing it at night before I went to bed, which means the whole second dose is basically effective while I'm sleeping. So some people have suggested um, spreading it out over the day. So. I've been doing the same dose I was doing before, but now I'm having one in the morning around like when I eat breakfast, one at 1 p.m., one at 5 p.m., and then one before I go to bed. So it's just a combination to get all the doses in for the week. And so far that's been working pretty well, as long as I remember. One day I forgot and I was like, oh man, why am I eating everything? And there you go. <laughs> Another thing I'm trying to do is, um, meal tracking in advance. And I, I know a bunch of people have done this because I've heard them talk about it, but I've never even tried it, to be honest. I've just recorded things after I ate them, tried to plan a little bit for a meal, but I really haven't been super conscious about it. And now that I'm trying to stay to an exact calorie range, I think it would be more helpful if I try to plan my meals in advance. And from other videos I've seen, it looks like the people who are really successful don't have a lot of variety in their meals. They might just switch out three or four, um, say dinners or three or four breakfasts or anything like that to make sure that they're always on track. So I kind of created an Excel spreadsheet that's of my 
most used meals so I can see which ones are low in protein and which ones are high I and mean, high or low in calories. So for that day, I can pick which ones I have. Sorry, my throat's all raspy today. <clears throat> Did I tell you guys about these tumblers? Okay, they're magical. This is the Mana tumbler. I got it at either Marshalls or TJ Maxx. I've also seen it at Home Goods. And I think it's like 24 ounces and I have three of them. If you, like I left it by my nightstand um, one day and when I woke up in the morning, it still had ice in it. And I was like, this is for me. <laughs> All the tumblers can go <laughs> because especially in the summertime, everything was getting warm and you can't have zip fizz warm. It's just not good, not good at all. So this is really helping me drink a lot more during the day. So if anybody has some tips for meal tracking in advance, I would love any help. Um, if you could put them in the comments below and just let me know what method you use to track in advance. Do you do the same thing every week? Like Monday's a certain meal, Tuesday's a certain meal, or do you try to mix it up? I'm not really sure how to start. Okay. So here's the stats. So for week five, I was 169.2, which was a loss of 0.8 since the week before, a total loss of 10.9 pounds. So week six, I was 168.6, and that's a loss of 0.6, <laughs> a loss of 11.5 pounds total. So I'm not expecting to be losing two pounds a week. And honestly, it's really hard for me to cut back my calories so that I'm still having results at all. I'm happy because I just, I think in my, something in my head just says even Steven. So I can't go below what my body is telling me I need. I have a really hard time doing that. And so I'm working on it. I'm trying to maybe do an average, do a little bit more on the weekends, just to kind of trick myself into eating less. But um, the snacking is just, it adds up for sure. So I'm happy that I'm still going down. But it's going to be smaller increments and a half a pound is fine with me an eighth of a uh, 0.8 of a pound it's fine with me um i'm just happy to be moving in the right direction so it may be a little ambitious for me but i'm really hoping to reach my goal next week of 167.7 and that's exactly where i was on march 12th i may not make it in one week i may make it in two but i'm going to try for it and um, keeping up with my exercise, I'm exercising every other day. I'm upping my time on the treadmill. I'm at about 23 minutes on the elliptical, sorry. And um, doing different arm and shoulder weight exercises. And I'm trying to change it up so that my body doesn't get too used to it. And I've upped the weights a little bit. Uh, but I really think that I'm going to need to go to the gym <laughs> eventually. And I hope that, you know, it gets safer to do that. I could be doing it now, but um, I just go there for my chair yoga class because everyone's socially distanced and I don't know if I'm ready for the weights yet. So as for the side effects to Contrave, um, as I've mentioned in previous videos, extreme dry eye, I'm still having a lot of trouble with that, having to take out my contacts earlier in the day and sometimes it starts straight off in the day. Uh, the other thing is the ringing in my ears is very loud, very loud, because I already had it, so it made it much more pronounced, but I'm just trying to turn the volume on the TV up and, you know, keep asking my family what they said again and again, which I'm sure they're totally annoyed. Um, one of the good things that's really happened from the contrary of side effects is I've had more energy. I haven't needed to take as many naps, and I just... Um, oh, also the other thing is a reduction in pain. Like I usually have, um, the whole reason I got the VSG surgery was cause I had chronic pain and fibromyalgia. And so I was kind of in a low level pain all the time. That was pretty exhausting. And what I noticed is that my lower back and my hip are both doing a lot better and I don't have a problem with exercising. I can also go up the steps without holding on. I can go up at a pretty good pace. I can't carry anything, anything big, but I can still get up there, which is like a major deal. 
So thanks for checking in and stopping by and I hope that you'll subscribe to watch my journey. And if you have any questions, feel free to put them below. If you have any tips for meal tracking, please put that below too. Um, I'd love any recipes of your favorite stuff, you know, anything you want to share. And I will talk to you next week. Bye.